Hello guys, welcome back to Grab Slams, a series where we take a look at the best MLB plays throughout the week, and we got some amazing fielding and big hitting moments throughout the last few days, and some amazing walk-offs and crazy plays, but over the last few days, what have been the best plays throughout the MLB, and what have been the moments that you need to see? Watch till the end for all the greatest moments throughout the last week, and make sure you hit that subscribe button to the Sportsnet YouTube channel for the best sports coverage around. And without further ado, Let's get into the Graf Slams for this week. We've gotten so many amazing fielding plays and a couple of ones that I want to show here first things first to start out today's episode come from the middle infield of the Pittsburgh Pirates. First, this absolutely insane play. Renato. Ground ball, left side, picked. Oh, Castillo, a pretty play on the first and a double play. How about that? Zip, zap, kazoo, the Buccos turn two. Nothing, nothing. This play by Diego Castillo is absolutely insane. Isn't even able to get it with his glove. Still has to get it with his hand and just flick it enough to second. Still getting the double play. But that wasn't it for the middle infield for the Pirates. We also had an amazing play here by Yu Chang, who made one of the best plays I've ever seen a second baseman make. Singled in the third. And play made from the seat of his pants oh. on the first. He got him. Yu Chang having himself a night. <laughs> Are you kidding me with that right there? Yu Chang oh. makes a throw from his backside and a missile and an accurate missile right here. The fact that he was able to slide, still track that ball down, and on his butt, able to fire it to first and still get a really good throw to get the batter out. Everything about this play was grab slam worthy and Chang just making it beautiful. Now this next play is another fantastic one from the middle infield. This ball went off of Ernie Clement right to Amon Rosario, my boy, and he makes one of my favorite plays of the entire week. One run scored and then the error and then another one did. Smash to third off the glove of Ernie Clement. Ahmed Rosario backs it up and throws him out. What a dynamite play. Ernie Clement looking back at Ahmed Rosario like, are you kidding me? The fact that it goes off of Clement's glove, Rosario is still able to adapt and fire it to first. And even though it wasn't a perfect throw, still it was hard enough to get there and still make the out. One of my favorite plays this week, one of the most dynamic plays of this week, and it just shows how crazy baseball can be. So big grab slam to the Cleveland Guardians and a big grab slam, especially to Ahmed Rosario. But we still got some amazing more plays. Now we're going to go on to the outfield, and Stephen Kwan made one of my just absolute favorite catches of this year. Deep left. Quan. Oh my goodness, what a play! Holy mackerel, that might be the play of the year! And this play is a grab slam in so many ways. First things first, the situation. If Quan wasn't able to make this grab, it probably would have been disastrous. They were up a up a run, and there were runners on third and first. Realistically, if it didn't go into the stands, maybe the player on first could have gone home if everything worked out for them. But at the very least, the game would have been tied, and it would have been disastrous for the rest of that inning, even if it did have two outs. But the fact that he was able to make that catch with two outs in the inning and end it all with that type of grab lunging out. I mean, you see this man right now. It's insane. Grab slam to Stephen Kwan. Such an electric player, and he continues to show why. And we also got another fantastic one from Brandon Nemo, who also laid out to make a sweet grab. Kid, he's got 10 home runs on the year. And he lines this one to left center, chasing in the gap is Nemo diving, oh. and he made the catch! Oh, wow! Even though it might not be as much of a grass slam as Stephen Kwan's at the same time, and Nemo deserves it because he's a Met, and I love my Met boys, and just shows how crazy they can be and how fun of a baseball team they can be, too. Grab slam to Nemo, and absolutely deserved. Now we've seen so many great, amazing fielding plays, but we also got to give some light to the catchers who can make some great plays at times. This one from Martin Maldonado was one of the best ones I have ever seen, so just feast your eyes. Foul, caught by Do Maldonado, it. he did it! Yes! He, he's been trying that play all year long and it paid off. That is outstanding. 
A tip drill by Martin Maldonado. We all know that the catcher position is the hardest in baseball, let alone potentially in sports. And the fact that he was able to just reach out with his legs, get up on him, and even with his mask, track that ball down immediately over his head and make that grab. Obviously, as a Rangers fan, I'm not exactly loving it, but I'm also loving the athleticism and the skill of Mal Maldonado here. Absolutely elite and grab slam worthy every single day of the week. And we got some more highlights from that Astros and Rangers series, this time coming from Luis Garcia, who posted an immaculate inning where he got three strikes for three strikeouts in nine pitches. Watch and love it, because it's actually insane. Guys. Other one he had. Both middle positions up up the middle. He can sometimes he changed gloves, but it's... But what about, you know... Their leagues. So getting back, <laughs> back to back strikeouts, and that's a three pitch strikeout of low. An immaculate nice. inning! Now the Rangers like to strike out a lot, but at the same time, to be able to do that is just so skillful. And also the fact that there was like four foul balls in that entire inning, and he was still able to get the immaculate inning in the end. Grab slam 100%, and one of the coolest pitching innings of this season. But now bouncing off that, and also the Maldonado play earlier, let's go on to Gabriel Moreno, who's making his name known with the Blue Jays. Already got his first hit a few days back, but has made a couple of fantastic throws and this one was insanity. Mateo 14 for 16 he's going and he's out. Another great throw from the rookie Gabby Moreno. Wow that's all I can say after that one. I mean, this man is 22. To be able to make that throw, to be able to look so mature as well doing it, I mean, he already feels and seems like a vet with that type of play, knowing where to be and knowing what to do exactly, and that throw was perfect. That accuracy and that power was perfect. So Moreno, once again, gets a grab slam, and of course it's deserved. It's, it's Gabriel Moreno. Of course it would be. Now let's actually go on to some hitting plays here. I know we've definitely focused on the fielding, as I think we should, because there's been so many insane plays. But one of my favorite hitting plays over this past week was with the Phillies. They were down 1-0, down to their last strike in the game. And then Garrett Stubbs decided to be the king himself. And a high fly ball to deep right field. time to launch his first walk-off home run. The Phillies win it here in the bottom of the ninth inning, three to one. He was down to his final strike. But it's just the moment that makes it so special, down to their last strike. Obviously, it didn't matter whether there was two guys on base or one, but at the same time, Stubbs is your hero. And the fact as well, that pitch went right down the middle with, with a two-strike, two-two count. Obviously, Stubbs took advantage, as he rightfully should. Grab slam, 100%. Now, to end things off today, I wanted to showcase a couple of fantastic Vladdy plays and a couple of huge highlights. He had some big moments over this past week. The first one that I really want to show you guys is this, this home run that was absolutely destroyed. Honestly, one of the prettiest home runs I've ever seen. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Second who gets to fit the big man. But everything is so perfect about this. That breaking ball that just swoops in. That almost golf-like swing that just absolutely carries. And that's so, that just that, that look as well. That Vladdy knows exactly where it's going to go in a 10-to-1 game. Absolutely amazing. But he wasn't done getting grab slams. A runner is on second. It's a tied game. 6-6 six, six between the O's and the Blue Jays. And... 
Lad comes up to the plate and does exactly what he does best. Before this at bat, he was three for four and he continued to mash. Ripped into left. Here comes Bo. And Vladdy and the Blue Jays have won it. So honestly, Vladdy is your Grand Slam champion for this week, making so many great plays and so many great moments happen. It's absolutely deserved for the King himself doing so much for the Jays, and especially this week, putting it all out there and getting some massive results. But that'll be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Grand Slams. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Comment down below what your favorite plays were of this week, of this video. What would you think are the greatest Grand slams of this week let us know your thoughts down below share this video with your friends get it out there to all the sports fans and mlb fans you guys know online and i will see you in the next one have a fantastic day and goodbye